Hey there, this is a uh, uh, cry for help, please. I'm requesting conspiracy cats, can you please? But when you scroll, you see when, including the issue of. You often hear flat earth fanatics rejecting images of our globe earth, with reference to it being taken with a wine angle slash fisheye. But if you point out that their photos and videos are taken with long telephoto lenses, then you are not factual, ignorant etc. In their videos, it deals with analyzing other people's images and videos, without knowing which camera used, what sensor the camera has and what lens and focal length. Does all this have any significance? Yes it has. Let's start with sensors. There are, however, many different sizes. A normal professional camera has full frame. Flat Earth Fanatic's favorite camera, the Nikon P1000 has the small one that you see as second from the right in the lower row. Plified, the larger the sensor, the better the images. Here are some differences depending on sensor size. A larger sensor with the same resolution as a smaller sensor generally has better dynamic range. Larger pixels also give a higher electrical signal, which reduces the need for the signal's amplification, causing noise in the images. This works in the same way as with the camera's ISO, the sensitivity of the camera, where higher ISO value gives increased noise be this could be described much more in detail. But now we switch to lenses, magnification, and distortion. 50mm lenses are also called normal lenses. Note, this on one on a full frame camera. Normal lens is a lens that reproduces a field of view that appears natural to a human observer. In contrast, depth compression and expansion with shorter or longer focal lengths introduce noticeable, and sometimes disturbing, distortion. Here you see a 50mm lens on two cameras with different sensors. The left is full frame and the right APS-C note that the smaller of these sensors is much larger than the one on the Nikon P1000. So if you compared to that camera, the difference would be much greater. In this comparison I will show the difference from 16mm to 400mm. Although the size difference of these sensors is not as great as that of the Nikon P1000, the difference becomes very clear. At 16mm you can see that the houses are leaning. But it in the middle is not so distorted. This is what flurfs usually use as arguments when rejecting images from space. At 50mm, the camera with the smaller sensor begin to compress the perspective. The mountain behind the tower appears to be much closer to the tower than on the left picture. At 200 mm this is even more apparent. This is at 400 mm. You can imagine how much it compresses at 3000 mm on a Nikon P1000. Flurfs like Sleeping Warrior, Ranty, and Wide Wake try to make us believe that the earth is flat with this kind of pictures. This without telling you anything about how they were taken. I hope this has been interesting. 
I will make more videos with similar topics. Thank mm -hmm. you.